a very good morning to all of you chapter 2 basic accounting terms today's accounting term is goods merchandise goods are also known as merchandise goods are the physical items of trade that are purchased to be sold the things which are bought and sold by business are called goods in other words they are stock in trade of an enterprise which are purchased or manufactured in accounting when goods are purchased it is written as purchases when goods are sold it is written as sales refers to the products in which the business unit is dealing that is goods means all the activities which are purchased and sold in the ordinary course of business items purchased for use in the business are not called goods students why we are discussing goods many a times you come across the question sohan sold goods costing rupees so and so to mohan etc etc so whatever goods are being purchased or sold by the business they are considered as your goods however items purchased for use in the business are not considered as goods for example if you are a furniture dealer purchase of chairs and tables is goods for you because it is purchased to be sold however for others who are not dealing in furniture it is considered as asset for the stationery merchant stationery purchased is considered as goods for the dealer in home appliances tv fridge etc are goods is it clear to you all moving on to the next term the next term is stock inventory stock inventory is different from goods stock inventory is basically a part of goods only stock inventory is value of unsold goods on a particular date is known as stock mind my words value of unsold goods it is a tangible asset held by an enterprise for the purpose of sale in the ordinary course of business or for the purpose of using it in the production of goods meant for sale which basically means that you are using some other goods in producing different product which will be sold further it is shown in balance sheet as your current asset it may be of two types opening stock which is known as beginning of accounting year or basically it is shown at the beginning of accounting year and closing stock which is shown at the end of the accounting year now students one point to be noted to understand this let us understand this diagram whatever beginning inventory we will be having we will be selling off that goods in this particular year that is why it is considered as your current asset beginning inventory sold goods now you purchased some goods out of that purchased goods you sold one portion of it we have to calculate stock and the stock is value of unsold stock so the remaining one remaining 3/4 portion becomes your closing stock clear closing stock of a year becomes the opening stock for next year how closing stock as on 31st march 2020 will be becoming opening stock for 1st april 2020 ma'am if we are having some goods left from the opening stock plus we have made the purchases also then will it be added in closing stock yes that opening inventory plus purchases will be your closing stock at the end of the year basically we are saying opening stock plus purchases minus if we have sold any kind of goods will give to us our closing stock we will be discussing this formula later in this chapter all right now kinds of stock that was there are two types of stock now this is kinds of stock we have stock of raw material whenever we purchase 
रॉ मटेरियल और बेसिकली गुड्स आर इनिशियली इन रॉ मटेरियल फॉर्म तो एनी स्टॉक ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल यूज फॉर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ गुड्स लाइंग अनयूज बेसिकली वी हैव नॉट यूज दैट रॉ मटेरियल व्हिच विल बी यूज फॉर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग तो इट बिकम्स अ स्टॉक फॉर रॉ मटेरियल इन द सिमिलर वे देयर इज वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस दैट इज स्टॉक दैट इज इन प्रोसेस ऑफ बींग फिनिश्ड दे आर पार्टली फिनिश्ड गुड्स तो दैट इज नोन एज योर स्टॉक फॉर वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस now stock of goods for trading concern trading concern means the manufacturer the concern who is only dealing in trading of goods goods or inventory remaining unsold becomes stock of goods for the manufacturing concern it becomes processed goods for the purpose of sale basically finished goods which they have manufactured for the purpose of sale is it clear to you we have three kinds of stock stock of raw material stock of work in progress and then comes is stock of goods raw material when purchased it is in raw form when little bit process is being done on it it becomes work in progress and ultimately it reaches to your finished goods that becomes goods now the next term the next term is trade receivables as the word receivables denotes something is about to be received in the similar way we have trade receivables are amounts receivable for sale of goods or services rendered in the ordinary or normal course of business whatever amount we are supposed to receive by selling of our goods or services that becomes our trade receivables trade receivables is basically sum of debtors and bills receivable now what is a debtor debtor is a person or an entity who owes amount to the enterprise against credit sale of goods and or services rendered to understand this better let us consider this example first if sia sold goods to priya for rupees 45000 on credit priya is debtor in this case because priya will be paying us in future so she will be paying us in future this becomes a amounts receivable for sale of goods that is priya is debtor in this case goods sold to a person on credit and payment has not been received that person becomes your debtor and the amount due is known as your debt and is shown in the asset side of balance sheet why asset side because the amount you will be receiving in future that will be your benefit that is why it is shown in the asset side of your balance sheet bills receivable it means a bill of exchange accepted by the debtor the payment of which will be received on the specific date if priya accepts a bill of exchange by sia that she will promise her to pay the particular amount that is rupees 45000 on this particular date as being mentioned on bill of exchange that becomes your bills receivable to understand this let us consider an example process ignore the word drawer or drawee for the time being we are only considering half part of this transaction mr sam he sold goods and draw a bill to mrs reet in return mrs reet has given an acceptance to bill which is being granted by or which is being drawn by mr sam on him on her now this becomes bill of exchange now for mr sam this is bill receivable till the time mrs reet pays him so it will be recorded in the books of account as your bills receivable on maturity date when the payment is made by mrs reet then transaction is being completed then bills receivable will be deleted or will be omitted or will be written off from your account clear we will be doing this chapter later but just to make you understand that how this bills of exchange is being made mr sam will be drawing a bill 
for Mrs. Reed and when Mrs. Reed will be accepting that bill that will become bill of exchange. Now that bill of exchange for Mr. Sam is bills receivable and for Mrs. Reed is bills payable which we'll be discussing in the next term. Alright. Clear. These so goods are also sold on credit always remember so basically what is happening over here when any debtor accepts the bill that bill becomes your bills receivable now the amount is also on credit in the similar way when the word bill of exchange is associated it becomes bills receivable and trade receivables is the sum of debtors and bills receivable all right have a nice day stay safe stay home your notes and assignment will be uploaded on erp kindly have a look through it thank you so much students